y'all, dogs literally start barking as soon as I press record. Like, the, all the dogs in my neighborhood just start barking when I press record. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. I am reusing some cornrows that I had in when I had my crochet uh, passion twist and I washed my scalp with apple cider vinegar and then I put some oil on it and then I just tied it down so that the braids would look a little neat when I did my um, crochet style. So this time I'm actually going to use um, some hair that I've not used before but I saw good things um, about. This is the uh, Lulu Tress uh, Water Wave hair in 18 inches. I couldn't really get color consistency with this, so I have a 1B, three number fours, and a number two. So I have five packs of hair in all. I don't think I'm gonna need all the packs, but I got them just in case. And then I'm also going to use a cap over my hair um, just to give me a good base and to also help me like keep the front of my hair laid down. It's down now, but I want it to stay down. And I want to leave this hair in for like three weeks. Um, so the way I cleaned my scalp with the apple cider vinegar and water was I actually got a beauty blender and I soaked that in apple cider vinegar and water. Plus I put some in a like spray bottle. And I sprayed my scalp and then I rubbed it with the beauty blender. Now this beauty blender, I'm gonna throw away. It's old, I was done with it anyway. It was for makeup, but it was old. So I just went through all of my um, parts and in the back where it's like the circle braid all the way around, I just went through all of my parts and just, just kind of rubbed to get any dry skin off and just make sure that my scalp was clean. Apple cider vinegar, kills bacteria and fungus and all that. So I know that my scalp is clean. So I'm gonna put my cap on, I'm gonna start um, crocheting, and then I will come back once everything is put in and we'll talk about the hair a little bit further. All right, y'all, so this is with four packs and I'm gonna have to open the fifth pack because I still have some space, like a little bit of space in the front where I need to probably add like a piece um, her braid in the front and maybe like a couple pieces on this side but it's very full um I am going to trim it I want to keep some of the length but I'm not going to keep all of the length um underneath is the color four and then on top this is color two again the beauty supply store that I went to didn't have like five packs of the same color or whatever so I'm gonna have to use some of the 1b around the edges which means it's gonna be significantly darker in the front than underneath but that's okay um I don't love this curl pattern I would actually next time probably only use this curl pattern for um braids I mean for passion twists but um I'm gonna make it work so I'm gonna come back in the morning tomorrow's Christmas so Come back in the morning and show you my whole look so you can see what's popping. All right, y'all. So this is the hair. I am not in love with it. It is really hard to shave. It's hard to trim and get a good frame on my face. This is not my favorite hair. It's not even like my fifth favorite hair. I probably will only use this again if I'm actually going to do passion twists, which I don't plan on doing. So um, I'm in a hurry running out of the house, my makeup is still patchy, so just know if you are looking for hair that layers well, this is not it. It is very soft, it feels very soft, so it's fun. It just does not layer very well. As soon as you layer and you do a couple little pulls, little pieces pop out. Um, it coils around itself quite easily, um, so then it looks shorter than what it is. That's it, I don't love it. I don't love it, but I'm going to wear it for a few weeks because, because I paid for it. So thank you for watching this episode. Until next time, y'all have a good day.